we know there's a lot of magic that happens in the restaurant, but you know you can actually have a little bit of Vikram Vij at your own house. Good morning, Vikram. Good morning, Master. <laughs> We're here at your production facility in Surrey, where we know that you have, of course, oh, the Vij is at home. Check this out here. Tell us a little bit about specifically where we are. Well, this is a journey that uh, I started six years ago, and uh, this is where uh, we bring the product in. You know, I wanted to keep fresh product in here. So this is Vidges at Home Curries. This is where we bring in the product, we thaw it, we cook it down, and then we ship it from here. So this is like a shipping and a receiving freezer. So you have everything from your green beans, which we're making today, I believe, yeah. uh, to your chicken, a couple yeah. of different varieties of chicken. And lamb, and there is beef that's going to be made here as well. So all the uh, dishes that we are enjoying at like 400 stores right now that people can take at home are being uh, cooked right here in this 28,000 square foot production facility. Places like Safeway, Urban Fair. Whole Foods, Choices, like there are so many, um, you know, artisanal style of uh, shops and also some chains that absolutely love sustainable, good Indian food. But listen, people know what it's like, and if they haven't had a chance to go to Vidges, they should, but they want to know, is it going to be the same quality of food? Is it the same recipe? I promise you this, the love and the passion and each and every bag is exactly like the dish that is created at either at Vidges or at Rangoli or at My Shanti. I, I promise you that. And if it is not, call me, and I will personally <laughs> return your call. And, and talk to you about it. And you know, he talks, Jody and Riaz, about the love and care that goes into the food. We are actually going to make our way in uh, again to the production facility where they have several employees that are, as we speak, doing their regular production of these great dishes here. And uh, we're going to see the love and care that goes into the food throughout the morning out here in Surrey. I'm a huge fan of Vidges at home, also because I'm a huge fan of Vikram Vidge. Thanks for having us out here to your my, production facility. My pleasure. I mean, I, this is the heart and soul of where, you know, uh, Vidges at home curries are being made. And I, one of the biggest things that was important for me was to not, not lose the integrity of the Indian food. So we still chop our own onions and ginger and garlic and roast our own spices. And the idea is not to shorten that cooking process, but to shorten the packaging process. Okay. So it's really important that we, you know, we, we, we roast our ginger, we cook it down, and then obviously the area is, this is a green room, only vegetables, then there is a meat room that only does meats and uh, everything else. So I really did want to make sure that we did not lose the actual full-on love and passion of Indian cooking that our families, our friends that cook at home. And so we're now in the red room because it's all about the cross-contamination. There can be none. So the vegetables had green, this has red. And what's happening right now? So we're dicing uh, some chicken, uh, uh, you know, like local chicken. Obviously, it's really important for me to buy local chicken. Organic? Organic local chicken. And that's uh, what we are using right now, diced. So the chicken comes out like that. And then it gets, you know, chopped up freshly with a dicer. And then we cook it down uh, a little bit further. And, and the flavors and the spices are incorporated in exactly the same way as you would do at your own house in, in uh, anybody's kitchen. You know, people know you so well from your restaurant and everything, and I think to myself, okay, you know, you could have just opened 20 more restaurants and instead you opened this big production facility. That was quite an uh, undertaking. Well, the dream came, you know, when I was growing up in India, uh, you know, my grandmother would make me a pouch of curry and say, you know, eat it when you're traveling or when you, when you don't have the time to eat hot food, but delicious food. And so the idea came from there, and I always wanted to then create uh, a, a style of cooking that was convenient for the people who want delicious food, healthy, uh, gluten-free and everything else, but didn't have the time to chop the onions and the ginger and the garlic. And that's why these curries are created for exactly the same, uh, for a busy lifestyle, for somebody who says, you know, I'm just really eat in the best. Eat with your family. It's a chance, Michelle, for people to be able to eat with their family in mere moments. I am a big fan. This is what we're making today, by the way. We're in the kitchen now, and we are going to see how this all gets put together again in the next few segments. Here on BT, live from Surrey. More time to enjoy your family if you have a quick meal you can cook and something that tastes like you actually made it from scratch. Right, Vikram? Exactly. It's like, you know, making pasta.
you boil the pasta, you put the tomato sauce on top of it, but you feel like, oh my God, I made the pasta. And it smells great in here. We're in a very special room here at your production facility. This is what I call the essence or the smells of Indian food, which is we are roasting our cumin seeds right here. As you can see, we roast our own, own spices, we grind our own spices here. And then once the spices are roasted here, then we go to the kettles and start cooking the food. I think a lot of people might be surprised at how much is actually done by hand. I mean, you could have easily just bought packaged spices, all, you know, dump it in, but you really roast everything. You take the time to do everything as though it were at home or at your restaurant. Well, as an essence of Indian food is that taking that time to, you know, grind the spices, roast the spices, and actually you can taste it in the food when you taste it. Now, of course, we just saw uh, in the kettle the coconut and ginger green beans, yeah. which will later on be packaged but how, how many um, packages might you get out of these kettles? So this is 100 gallons, okay. and the package is around 300 grams, and uh, so you get around 900 packages. And the 900 packages are actually go from 80 to 80 degrees straight to minus 32 within two hours. So what happens is the water molecule is small, and when the smaller the water molecule, the fresher your food tastes. So when you open it up and you eat it, it'll be like, oh my God, this is absolutely <laughs> delicious, and fresh. And speaking of which, so what you package today, make today, will be packaged within two hours, right. but you still have to do a bit of preparation for tomorrow too. Right, so as I said, we do the onions and ginger and garlic, and this is done today so that the, the brownness and the sweetness of the onions and ginger and garlic gets done. It's like no different than making a delicious stock. Like the way, the way the French would make a delicious stock, this is our stock. This is how we would start with Indian food, onion, ginger, and garlic, and that's what we did. And the biggest challenge that I found was to figure this out here in this huge production facility, going from a restaurant kitchen where you have a little pot and you're stirring with a wooden spoon to this level. That is what was the toughest part of not only being an entrepreneur, but going from a small kitchen to this 28,000 <laughs> square foot production facility. It is crazy, and Jody and Riaz, even for all the packages that you'll see in all the grocery stores and everything, I think you have something like 12 people that are making <laughs> everything by hand. It's crazy. So much great information from this guy, this dragon. Vicar <laughs> Vidge, more with him coming up again uh, just after celebrations. You hungry yet? We're out here in Surrey right now at Vidges at Home Production Facility. It's where they do their frozen foods, their Vidges at Home, which by the way, having been a big fan of Vidges at Home for years, Vikram, this is, and also having been to your restaurant, it does taste exactly like your restaurant. We just don't have you there with us. <laughs> well, then you have a bottle of wine instead of me. Yeah. Um, again, the same production. So once the dishes were cooked over there, what we do is we literally pack them and pack them. So they are, they are literally hand packed in a bag, 300 grams, somebody pol polishes With them, the wipes them cup, down. That's what's amazing to me. They're measuring it all out by hand. Because I wanted to be exact, and there's like 300 grams of really delicious goodness in your bag, and then we seal them, and once we seal them, we put them in an ice pot. So it goes from 80 degrees temperature down to four degrees here, and then it goes into the blast freezer within two hours, and that keeps the freshness of the food and the molecules so good. And then it goes into the freezer, right. and it gets shipped out to the vendors in a frozen truck, basically. So when I, I'm not up any kind of creek without a paddle, I've actually got... <laughs> no, you're doing great, and then I think that's what it is. People don't realize it, that this is not just any frozen food. This is frozen food cooked for your family, for your child, for your uh, you know, husband and your, your whoever you want to give really good nutritious food to. Let's talk a little bit about the importance of family. I mean, you've had this big movement, a lot, along with a lot of great local chefs um, in Vancouver, on the importance of sitting down and spending time with your family at mealtime. Well, I think it's so important. You know, one of the things that my father used to instill on, and it used to bug the hell out of me at that time, <laughs> because he wanted to eat together. Everybody wanted to eat together. And at that time, I really wanted to go out with my friends. But now I realize that eating together is such an important part. Because even if you don't do any talking, at least you are there in each other's presence. You, are, you know, how was your day today? How did you feel today? Even if it's just conversation, why do you want to sit in front of a television and eat? Talk. 45 minutes. Just have a great conversation. And that's all that's important. Or just be silent. But be together. But be together. You're quite the family here. I'm amazed to know that out of maybe on a busy day, you might create 300 bags of food of your of your vidges at home, and under 20 people 
preparing everything from cutting ginger, cutting the onions by hand. This is my heart and soul. This is the essence of what we do. This is not, this is all the people that have actually created Vikram is right here. They are the ones who have actually done all the hard work for me. And I cannot thank them enough. So my heart's Beautiful. gone to them. Listen, that just gave me a chill you talking about that. It's not because it's a cool room in here either. But you are a cool dude. Thank Vikram you. Vidge, Vidge is at home. Go to a grocery no, store near word. you. Even at the Pacific Sands in Tofino where I was, they have it. <laughs> We're going to take a little break here on BT. Uh, we got all your weather forecasts with Russ LeCay coming up next. I'll try to not mess this up here. <laughs> we'll be right back. This could take a lot of this stuff. Though.